There's a few different ways to find uh, the actual deposit that you're doing an NSF against. Um, the easiest is probably to just locate the customer that you're going to create the NSF charge to and, and do it that way. If you know a deposit number, a check number, um, or even an amount, it can try to help you find it. But generally, you're not doing deposits with a single customer. So when you're depositing 50 checks at the end of the day, um, and only one of them comes back, then you're, you know, it, it gets a little tough to try to find it based on that. So um, the, the best way is just locate the customer. And then um, what we're doing is we're coming to accounting, checking, and then there's an NSF checks here. And once we get here, we're just going to tell it to find the customer check deposit info. Um, it, obviously, it, it, it doesn't find anything at this point, but we're just going to fill it in. So the original amount that this particular customer wrote us, let's say, was for $100. The bank is charging us a $15 fee. Um, we're charging the customer a $30 fee. We are going to use, we, we would set up an income account for uh, NSF charges. And so we would come down through here and pick whatever that account number was. Um, and then we've got a, the checking account that we want to actually take the money out of. So basically, we deposited $100 into the account last week or the other day. Um, the bank has said that it's not any good, so we need to take that $100 out of our account and charge the customer the fee plus the $100. So we're basically going to end up charging him. We've got a cost of $15 and a, and a profit here of, of 30 or basically a profit of, of uh, 15 and then 100 So we should end up creating an account receivable for $130 to this particular customer for this particular NSF. Um, so at this point, I want to actually take it out of bank one, and we're going to tell it to process the NSF check. Um, again, you won't see this unless you're using departmental accounting. Um, so at this point, it tells me that it was done successfully. So let's take a look at what actually happened. If we go over here to the view registry for bank one, uh, we can see here that we actually have a $100, $115 fee that came out of our account. So this is the check that he wrote us plus the $15 that the bank charged us. Um, it says that it's an NSF charge, and then here it tells us who it was charged against. Um, so you can see that the system on the checking side has recorded the fact that we had that money come out of our account. But now let's see what it did to help us get the money back. So we're going to go over here to receivables, and we're going to view the current contact for the person that we had up. And so over here, the system has gone in and created an account receivable to pay this for us to, or for that customer to pay us the $130 that it actually owed or that they actually owed us. Now, you'll notice here that it's, it's actually $145. This is an NSF charge back and, and it's got the, the information on, on the, the account for that. So um, actually, I entered that in wrong when I when I described it. Um, if we go back over here to accounting, so we'll go back over here to the transfer or to the NSF charge. Um, if you look at this, this actually tells you a very bad demo, but I gave you a, a good example. Um, read before you do. Um, this actually tells you that this is an additional fee. So what I should have put in here is the fifteen dollars that the bank was charging me and then I'm going to charge an additional $15 fee for myself. Um, I put in 30 here. Um, so I described that wrong on the, in the initial process, but, um, you can see the system actually did create the AR for me. So now the customer owes me $145 and, and I have processed the money back out of my bank, uh, to be able to deal with it. So all, everything was dealt with from a single control within Lizzie.